Hey everybody, my name is Vera and welcome to my channel. I used to make YouTube videos quite regularly, but I've kind of been out of it. Uh, but recently I really felt inspired again to start making videos. So here I am once again, giving it a try. Um, yeah, so today I'm here with a video about all of my houseplants. Over the past few months, I really became obsessed with houseplants for some reason. Um, so I bought quite a lot of them and yeah, today I thought I'm gonna give you a little houseplant tour uh, so you can meet all my little babies. I've got my cup of green tea ready, so let's get into it. Now I don't know where to get my tea. You stay there, my friend. So this is the first plant I'm going to show you. This is a uh, string of beads, I believe. I'm not too sure about all of these names, but <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. But I think this is a string of beads. I first thought it was a string of pearls, but yeah, I don't know. These 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 little things are more like beads, I guess. I don't know. They're not really like round, especially I don't know if you can see it here, but they're really like a longer shape. So I think it's a string of beads. And I got this one quite recently. It's been doing very well. He has quite a lot of indirect sunlight through the day and I don't really water him a lot. I think maybe once every two weeks. Um, but I, yeah, every now and then I spray him as well. I got this little planter from uh, the thrift shop. I don't really know if it's actually a plant pot, but when I saw it, I immediately thought that this would be amazing with uh, with a plant in it. So yeah, that's what I did. I think it turned out really cute. So next up, I have this big peperomia plant. I've got this plant quite a long time ago, actually. Um, and I keep it in the spot where it has uh, mostly indirect sunlight, but sometimes some direct sunlight as well. And I don't think that's really good for this plant because it's, yeah, I don't know, when it's been in direct sunlight for a while, I feel like um, it gets all these like yellow leaves and stuff and brown spots. But still, I think it's doing quite well. It has little babies growing here, little new leaves here as well. I think this is a really easy plant to care for. I water it once every two weeks, I'd say, maybe a bit less. Uh, yeah, and it's doing, doing fine. Next up is this little guy. I'm not going to try to pronounce his name, but you'll see it on the screen. <laughs> um, this is definitely a drama queen, to be honest. Um, I read online and this plant is really easy to take care of, but not in my opinion. I don't know, I, I think I just got like a really needy one. It's just never really happy. It always has a brown leaf somewhere, like this one here is just kind of dead. I've tried everything really, I put it in different places, I water it less or more, but it just never seems fully happy, which is kind of sad, but it's still alive though. Um, so if you have any tips on this one, please leave them in the comments because I just don't know what to do really. Um, it also has these like brown spots on the leaves. Uh, I still love him though, he just needs a bit of extra attention. So next uh, is my Sansevieria. Um, I think this is a plant that I own the longest. It, it has been through a lot, I gotta say. Um, it has been attacked by flies, these little like black flies. I don't really know what they are. Um, but they really, they're not good for your plant. Um, so I needed to repot it while well, I just actually repotted it like two weeks earlier. <laughs> so that was not, not a good experience for him, I think. But he's still doing fine. I water him, I think, once every three weeks, maybe less. You don't really have to do anything for a Sansevieria, I feel like. It just lives. It also produced uh, like an extra leaf on the side, which I... Um, separated from the plant and put in a new pot so it can become a new Sansevieria, which is kind of cool. He's growing quite slowly, but that's fine. We just gotta wait for it to become a full plant. Next up, I have these uh, little succulents. It was actually an idea of my boyfriend to buy this terracotta, yeah, I don't know what it's called, plate, I guess, um, and put um, multiple little terracotta pots on it. And I thought it was really cool. Uh, so I did that and I bought three succulents to go with it, as well as the uh, smallest, tiniest cactus I've ever seen, which I love. And they're succulents, so they really just exist. And I don't really do anything uh, to take care of them. Next up is my little spider plant. 
just very easy to take care of as well. He just lives and I don't really give him any attention whatsoever. So that's great. Just gotta remove some brown leaves every now and then. Spray him a bit, water him once every week. So I also have another Peperomia. Um, this one I, um, I own for quite a long time as well. I think um, like a couple of years now and it's doing very well. Um, there was one point in its life that I thought it was gonna die, but it didn't, which was great. And now it's just giving all these little new leaves again, and it's really happy, even though I had to repot it because it was attacked by the black flies as well. I water it once every week. Um, it needs quite a bit of water, um, and I just spray it once every few days, I don't know. This is a Hedera Halix, I think. It's a cute little plant. Um, but but it has some problems. Uh, it looks kind of droopy, I think, and the leaves are kind of hanging down and it just doesn't seem very happy. But on the other hand, it's producing new leaves, so I think that's a good sign. Um, yeah, I don't really know what's going on with this one. Next we have this one. Um, I put it in a little teacup, which I think is, yeah, I think it's kind of cool this way. Um, I like using these plant pots, which aren't really plant pots. Yeah, not really much to say about this one, really. I water it once every week and I spray it every now and then. Next, I have a hanging plant, um, which is actually hanging as well. I'm looking at it right now. I put it in a thrifted planter and I also made a macrame hanger myself. I love these, these macrame hangers, but I just don't really have much space for them in my room. But there's one, one hook where I could hang, hang up one of these, so I did that really like the look of it. My mom has one as well and it's grown absolutely crazy. It's become so long so I hope that my plant will do that as well. Um, it's kind of new. I bought it like a couple of weeks ago so we still... I'm, I'm not sure about like how long it will take to grow but I see some new leaves popping up so that's good. Um, just spray it every day, every few days, and water it every week, and it's, yeah, I think it's quite happy. Then I have my string of hearts, which I love. It's uh, it's quite a new one. I bought this one very re recently. It, it's already got new leaves, <laughs> which are so cute, they're so tiny. Um, and I put it in a thrifted plant as well, which is actually a jug, uh, but I thought... A plant might be cool in it, so I did that. It's on my bookshelf. I really love like the look of the little leaves hanging hanging around my bookshelf. I water it once every week again, just like most of my plants. I spray it every now and then, and that's it really. Another one which is on my bookshelf is this crazy long one. Um, I've got this uh, for quite a long time as well, um, and it has grown absolutely crazy. It has become so long. It started off on the a shelf above my um, desk, uh, but it has grown so long that it just doesn't fit anymore. So I um, put it on my bookshelf where it can grow as crazy as it wants. It needs quite a bit of water. I just water it once a week, but I give it quite a lot and it's doing fine that way. Yeah, great one to have. So I have another, I believe this is the third Peperomia one. This is the Peperomia Rotundifolia. This is the little guy we're talking about. Um, it, it's growing, like, yeah, it's growing all over the place. Um, it really likes sunlight, I feel like. And when it hits in sunlight, it grows like crazy. Um, it produces many, many new leaves and it grows in all directions which I think it's really cool. I really like this look. It also needs quite a bit of water. It, it, it has a tendency to, to, to let its le leaves hang and just kind of look a bit sad. But then you just need, need to give it a bit of extra water and it will, uh, will be fine again. So yeah, another peperomia. Then I have another quite big plant um, again. Uh, this is my newest addition to the family, I think. One problem I feel like is that it needs much sun, direct sunlight, which we don't really have here in Holland anymore since um, yeah, it, it has become autumn, so the weather is droopy and rainy and blah. So it doesn't really get the sunlight it needs, I feel like, which is the reason why its leaves are kind of drooping again. It, it is just in its original planter right now. Uh, but I need to find a new pot for it. And of course, like I feel like every plant mom or dad has one of these. It's the pancake plant. I got like a, a tiny one. 
um, but my mom has a big one and from hers I um, I got some cuttings and I put them in, a, in, in water and as you can see it's growing, oh, the roots are growing everywhere um, and new leaves are popping up which is great. I feel like we, we've had them all. Oh yeah, I've got three more cacti um, just sitting on my bookshelves. I just don't give them any attention and they're, they're still alive after like <laughs> three years, maybe longer. Oh, and I got also another very tiny plant, which I tend to forget, which is very bad. Um, but it's just such an easy one. I just don't give it any attention. I think now we have them all. Yeah, definitely. Ah. Yay! So there were all the plants I currently own. I really love them all equally well, even though some of them need a bit more attention. <laughs> That's fine. Let me know which plants you have, if you're a plant mom or dad as well. Which are your favorite plants? Do you have any tips? Just leave your thoughts down below in the comments. I'd love to read them and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! It's cold. Mm.